Hi and welcome to Column Lock. Column Lock uh, is an element created to force columns to stay in line, in rows, so that they are displayed one beside another, no matter what uh, the screen size. So for example here I created some columns. First column uh, got three elements in a row. And the second one got three elements in a row and underneath it got another uh, two elements inside of this first column. So in the next one uh, we're gonna be, it's an exact duplicate of the above, but we will be adding some uh, a column lock element. So first of all, let's have a quick look. So when you view your website, your responsive website on smaller devices or smaller screens, you will see that columns in Weebly at 767 pixels, as you can see here at the top, become blocks. So first of all, let's have a look here at those uh, Weebly columns in a default behavior, a behavior where you can see that all of the columns become blocks. But then when we have a look at the ones that have a column lock to it, that they will remain in line. So how do we do it? Well, it's very simple. Like I said first, uh, we will be adding those elements here because I previously removed it, but on this live site it was still visible. So let's remove that and let's see how it looks when it isn't visible. Just like that. So let's say, for example, we view our screen on a width that is 1000 pixels, let's set it 200 here. And then you can see that we have some columns created. But then when we resize and we reach 767 pixels, you can see that all of our columns become blocks. So I'm going to set this quickly to 767 to have it full view and then 200. Now, let's add a column block element, a column lock, uh, sorry, element inside of the first columns. Or table this is actually a table with table cells. So we grab our element, you could add it inside of the first, the, the second, or the third column, or if you have more columns in the other column. I'm just going to add it in the first one. You can also add it above or below your uh, element. As you can see, it does have a placeholder within the editor, which won't be visible on the live side, of course, but it needs to be there in order for you to be able to either remove it or move it to another place. This will allow you to delete the column lock. So in our next column right here that you can see, I do not want these three large items to stay in row on smaller screens. However, I do would like these two small items right here to remain in line. So we're going to add a column lock inside of that column. And either and again it can be in column 2 above or below. So then when we publish and view this in our browser on a smaller screen, you can see again the Weebly default behavior with columns will remain displayed as blocks, but then when we look at the ones that have a column lock, we'll see that they are in line. First blocks, which are these ones, will remain in line, no matter the screen size. Let's see, let's find them back because they became old blocks. You can see here, Weebly columns, column lock. And then we scroll down, under the first column, there was a uh, another column with two elements or rather another table with two columns actually so and those uh, will always remain in a row as well no matter the screen size so i hope you like this element and thanks